episode 4 of Lee Calibre's Hot Water More Travel to do. Today we're going to Luton. So we're just waiting for my bus now by X10 BHA. We're ready to go from the 61 bus to Dunstable. This is one of the most scenic routes in, in Aylesbury. We're going to take this on the 61 bus to Dunstable and then we'll get off there and get a bus to Luton. I'll see you for the bus ride. So it's already here, it's just got to go around the bus station. But yeah, so we'll just wait for it to turn up. So my bus is coming around now. Yeah, as I said, it's YX10 BHA with Brent Eagle. This is 9 o'clock, 61 service to Dumpstable. And stuff. We're going to take this to the Eyestone Dumpstable. And I'll see you later. Morning. Thank you. Now, as I said, 
said in the previous clip, uh, Trink High Street is currently closed, so we will be going on diversion in a minute. We are still on the normal line, a route, but we will be going on diversion shortly. Don't know what the route is, but then we have to serve Trink Railway Station as well. The 6th of one recently three routed to go to the railway station in Trink, so that you can get a diamond train from Trink on the West Coast Main Line, which I've done multiple times. In the past, train used to only get served uh, by the 387 bus, rather by Red Rose to Albury. However, it's now said also every 90 minutes by Red Eagle to uh, Dumbledore and Aylesbury. So it's always good. I uh, bear in mind the 387 only runs every two hours after Albury, but it does the job. Of course, the last time I was in Trick, I was on a, I was on two heritage buses. The first one was the RT, and the second was an RF uh, on the Cheshire running day, and that was about a month ago. I know. So, so, I'm to feel bloody sometimes. Goodness me. Bear in mind, obviously, I've done about three videos after that, and I've also got two more. But yeah, I'm just coming through a train now, we're just going uh, near the site of the London Transport Garage, which obviously if you want more information, what's the check video about that? That's uh, so just past 6525 with the and the X5. Uh, but we're just passing it now. Uh, of course the site nowadays is the post office sorting office. Uh, yeah. uh, we're just coming the closure now and I'll see you uh, when we go going further on the route. So we're now in Ivanhoe. Uh, Ivanhoe itself has uh, quite a few bus routes because you've also got the 167 bus down here which is run by many roads on a Tuesday part of the later bus of duty. Uh, I know the driver of someone's got to. Uh, but I can have itself has up uh, things as well. It's a nice little village. I mean, when I go to Dumpstable all the time and Luton, I go through Ivanhoe all the time. It's the way to it. But there are other ways as well, but it's one of the last ones. So Ivanhoe. Uh, Ivanhoe itself is a nice little village, which is just past the other bus in Pitstone. Uh, Jix 57 BXH today. And which are the two normal buses on the route. Uh, and that's going the other way to Ellsbury. We're obviously continuing up the Chilterns as we're now coming to the scenic bit between Ivanhoe and Marsworth. Now, this bit gets rather scenic. So, as we go over the Chilterns and we go over Ivanhoe Aston. Oh, I've been on beacon, sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, but it's a nice scenic run. Uh, but yeah, we just left Ivo, heading up to the Chilterns, and then we're we'll to Marsworth. Uh, 
and Sue from crossing the border. Annabelle's work, right, indeed, right. We'll talk, we'll talk into right this now. county of Bedfordshire. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to be back. Normally, or to drink. 
If I'm to do train, I get the X5. Um, well, I think I might use ready for more often now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're just in Tadaho now. And we're going to get the dumps more in about 10 or 20 minutes or so. Um, and yeah. I'll see you when I get off at Dumpstable. Thank you very much. And here we are in Dumpstable. But we're not here for long. We're going to get another bath. We're going to get Grand Palmer on this high. Because I just checked what it was. Okay, made it to Dumpstable. That was why I said be a chain. Uh, now we're just gonna wait for Grand Palmer now on the on the very <laughs> interesting number, the Route High. Now this comes from Hall Regis. Um, and it goes to Luton and it's one of the Garden Busway routes. So if you don't know what the Garden Busway is, it's the alignment of the Dunstable branch line. Um, we'll be taking it all the way around the Garden Busway. Uh, a B, and the E's just turned up with centre bus, but I'm not going to get the E because it's an MTV 634, but I'm going to wait for 7, 5, 2 or something like that. We're Grand Palmer. I know, 5, uh, 152. That's one, 152, which is uh, BU 74 YRR, which is a MTV Evora. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you when the bus arrives. So we're just waiting for the bus now, uh, it's during about five minutes or so. So if you don't know what the Garden Busway is, it opened in 2013 and it's a guided thing where buses have guide wheels and the bus drives itself. Now it opened in 2013, uh, there are quite a few in, this, in the UK, there's one in Manchester and there's one in, um, in Cambridge. And there used to be another one in Edinburgh but that's gone now. Apparently, um, but the Luton one opened in 2013. It's not the longest, that's Cambridge, um, but it's the alignment of the old Dunstable branch line. Now, this closed in the 1960s by Dr. Beeching. Now, in 2013, they opened the Garden Bus Way, uh, originally with about four routes the A, B, C, and E. But now there's loads of routes. We've got the A, which is a river that runs from Dumpstable to Luton Airport. We've got the B, run by Centre Bus, which runs from um, Luton to Dumpstable and on to Downside Estate. Then you've got the C, which is run by Grand Palmer, and that goes to Loyalty as well. Then you've got the E, which is run by Centre Bus, that's to Toddington. The F77 service service to Milton and Kings. The Z, which is Ariba as well. Uh, same for the F70, F77. Um, and the High, run by Grand Palmer to Fort Regis. Fort Regis. Now, we're just going to wait for the Hort and Regis, but that's the High. Um, and I did check, it's their new 74 plate Aurora that they've just acquired for this. Uh, it usually has a Gemini of some sort, but today it's an Aurora and a Gemini because there's two buses on the high. We're going to take this on the high route. And now, bus buses are valid on the route, so I have my bus bus with me. Um, bus buses are valid on the route. There are other routes, obviously, from Dunstable to Luton, like the 31 and the X1. But um, these are the most frequent of the lot because uh, the X1s are, of course, hourly. In. And of course, we are now technically in the London of in the county of Bedfordshire. Now, this means that I can get quite far out now because there's loads of routes we can choose from. Um, but I'm going to do the bus spot and Luton Station interchange today. So yeah, but the buses should be here shortly, and I'll see you when the bus arrives. It's my bus 154 B74 YR with Grand Palm on the high. Mm -hmm. Are you alright? Thank you.
Okay, we're now on the next bus, 154 with Grand Palmer. This is BU 74 YRR. This is on the high room. Now we're just about to go guided in a minute because. Yeah, this is best to go on the gun, that's why. Yay. So, let's go guide it. Okay, joining the Luton Guiding guided bus way. I'll just move this to the bus. So we're now joining the Luton and Dumbledore Guide the Bus Way it's opening 2013 and this will take us all the way to Luton in about 10 20 minutes. It's been now this is no longer guided event but we will go guide it in literally like five, four, three, two, one and we are a guide. We've been guided. So the Luton Garden Busway is this weird thing. It's the alignment of the old Dumpster Branch line that closed in the 60s. Um, uh, the Garden Busway opened in 2013 and it now sells so quite a few routes um, and it's more like a metro style service. You can just turn up and go. This is a bus like every few minutes. Um, so it's like a metro. Um, it's not just a river or Grand Palmer, the centre bus also come down here as well. And I've just found up with the B. Um, I've decided to get Grand Palmer because they're the family owned operator on the Garden Bus Way. Because, um, of course, a river and multi billionaire company provide square capital. And, of course, centre bus are also a similar thing. Um, so, but the route itself. It's a couple of stops. Um, the high doesn't use the hallway because we don't, uh, we're just at Clifton Road, which is right by Kenilworth Road at football stadium. And as a person that works at MK, yeah. Um, but yeah, we are more or less now, we're now more or less in Luton, Barber Council's area. We're no longer in Temple Central Majesty area. Um, but the guy that best way. It's great. I mean, it wishes you to dump the from Luton in about 10, 12, 10 15 minutes. It gets to the normal roads, um, which is right beside us actually. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes at times, depending on the traffic. Um, it's ridiculous. Um, so you're saving a lot. With, and obviously, with the £2 fare cap, these only cost £2. Grand Palmer also do tap on tap off as well so but yeah we're just going over the bridge uh, which means that we are coming up to the end of the garden busway uh, at Luton Station Interchange where this bus terminates now I've got an hour here well I've actually got two hours here because um, the next X1 isn't one of the coaches it's a Pulsar um, unfortunately as we'll call this 7105 I think it is is off the road which means that um, which means that there's um, a missing bus at the moment so it's not a coach it's a pulsar ready to be six today that's what we'll call this but it, I mean the guy bus was so quick I mean we left up for like 10 minutes ago and we're already in Luton it's ridiculous there was a 31 in front of me there's not left, didn't leave Dunstable <laughs> for like two minutes after us. So, and he's obviously got to go around the houses. Uh, but we're just arriving into Luton Station Interchange now. And I'll get off and I'll do my bus button now. Cheers, thank you very much. Oh. And here we are in Luton. Damn, there's a seat behind me. But that's BU 74 YRR number 154 with Grand Palmer. That's a nice bus, I must admit. And that's the Gemini number 700 on the CX, the Amazon group. And our Luton Station Interchange. Now, this is where uh, it's the most modal because you've got not just buses, but you've also got National Express stop here, you've also got Green Line. And the X1 coach service by Riva. 
as well as the trains as we're right next to Luton Station on the Midland Main Line uh, with services operated. The station is operated by uh, East Mins Railway and I think it's got six platforms in the back of my head uh, with additional services being provided by Govia Thameslink Railway or GTR. Now I've got two hours here as I'm catching the 12.15 X1 back to Luke, back to Milton Keynes as I've got to go back to Milton Keynes because of um, I said to my good female driver the 100 and I would uh, so it should be in Lune, uh, uh NK by about half one and then she goes at two o'clock so good but yeah but yeah Luton itself is it's a town I don't go to often. Um, bus operators, you've got not just um, Ariba and Grand Palm and Centre Bus, you've also got uh, Uno with the X10, uh, with one of their new E-verses at the moment. Uh, I think it's actually the one that I actually saw at Showbus. I'll just have a look which one it is and I'll check the photo. Uh, uh, but it is uh, BE74YRK, I think. Which is 205. I think that was the one that I saw, but obviously I'll try to find that in a minute. But for now, I'm gonna do some bus spotting. I might get a train quickly to um, Luton Airport Park, but I'll tell you why later. Okay, so I've got an idea. Because obviously I've got to run. So we're gonna do some train spotting, but we're not. We're gonna get a train, we're gonna get the slightly delayed train to Brighton now of course we're not going all the way to Brighton because I haven't got time today uh, we're going to catch the Brighton train just one stop to Luton Airport Parkway now I just I think I just missed the Raynham <laughs> unfortunately I just missed the Raynham train but that's okay I wasn't going to make the Raynham uh, the next one is the uh, the Brighton we're going to take that to Luton Airport Parkway Station. There, we're going to get off and we're going to do something a little bit interesting. And I'm not saying why. But I'll tell you later. But for now, just going to go over to the platform for the Brighton train. Which go through Thames and Railway, the GTR. Hopefully, there's a, there's a train from the back. Okay, I've got about five minutes. But yeah, I'll see you when the train arrives. Here's my train, the 1043 Thames Line service to Brighton, 700 108. It's going to take me to Luton Airport Parkway. Uh, but I need the back of the train. The reason why is because there's deep cross by first class somewhere. I know I'm not on the back. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Thanks, man. This station is This train terminates at The next station is Luton Airport Parkway. <sighs> yeah, yeah. This is the one problem with well car Thames lanes. Me that long just to get to the back of the train. <sighs> I'm nearly there because why I'm walking all the way down to the back is because I see cross first cross And since this is a bit of right train, the back first class is decathlonized. So I'm just walking all the way down there now. I'm literally only doing this for like three minutes now. It's ridiculous. Shortly be arriving at Luton Airport Parkway. Change here for other National Rail services. Exit here for London Luton Airport. Please make sure you have all your belongings and take care as you leave the train. Oh. Oh, it's quite good. 
position, many position myself more at the back. Through the Apple Parkway. Thanks, Tabs Link. Ooh. So, Stop. why can't I hear that? But yeah, but here's through the Apple Parkway, which only means one thing: I'm gonna get the dart to the airport. But there goes the train that's going all the way to Brighton. Okay, we're at Luton Airport Park right now. We'll just go wait. Uh, we're going to get the dart to the airport. So just bought my ticket. Uh, we're going to take this to the um, airport. We are. See you when I get on. I'm just get it on now. This shuttle is for the airport. So this is the Luton Dart. It's a automatic shuttle service from Luton Airport Park Station to the airport. We're going to take this to the airport. And yeah, this is so quick. This is a quick run. It takes about four minutes. So yeah. So yeah, let's go. I've made it to Luton Airport. Uh, so I've just got the Dart. Now, that Dart is a automatic transit shuttle. It opened on the 6th of December 2022 by King Charles himself. Um, and it's, it's not free. You do have to pay, unfortunately. It costs... Um, from Luton Airport itself, with a rail card, um, it costs £3.25. Now, I paid for that on the ticket machines, which is annoyingly tempting, but, uh, but you can get um, uh, but, but yeah, Luton Airport itself is a major bus station as well, because um, we've got obviously all the airport buses, but we've also got the river bus on the Angles. Um, we also got the air parks routes. Excuse it. It bores now, it seems. Awesome. Um, no, I'm just going to wait for another bus heading back to Luton. Uh, I've just missed one, but... Buses to Luton are over 10 minutes, so... Uh, no, but I just uh, missed... 2896. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the next one, which will be in the next couple of minutes or so. And my next bus has arrived, Bertie and I bought four one of the pulses. Uh, I do. Uh, now, we can't actually board because here at Luton Airport they've got gates. Now, the only people that are allowed to open the gates are the drivers. Now, Luton Airport itself, main airlines include EasyJet, Ryanair and Wizz Air. Um, however, there are other airlines as well. I, as I record this, it has been confirmed that e, their Jet 2 are going to be coming to Luton Airport from next year. We have a couple of flights. Um, one of them is Grand Canaria, which I've been to many times. But Luton Airport itself has loads of bus shuttles around the, to the car parks and stuff. And you've also got the Air Park shuttle, uh, which goes to the Air Parks car park up in to the bend, which is just around the corner from here, uh, which is about a couple of minutes away from here. Um, that's the, um, but you've also got the mid stay, long stay, and the short stay, but there's no shuttle bus for the long, short stay, unlike at Stansted Airport. But we're just going to wait for the Pulsar to drive to the back. We've just gone to the toilet, so I'll be back in a second. And I'll see you later. Here's my next bus from 944 Riva on the A. Are you all right? Thank you. 
So we're now on 2944, one of the pulses with Ariba. This is Ted Demi on the A back to the interchange. So, what I said is the dart is awesome. It opened in 2022 by His Majesty the King, King Charles, um, on the 6th of December. So, this in looks like, as a report, so I'm doing this on the 30th of November, in looks like three weeks' time, this group. The dart will be celebrating its second anniversary, which is just fantastic. The airport itself, of course, main airlines include EasyJet and Ryanair, but there's also Wizz Air as well. As I record this, it has been confirmed that Jet 2 will also be starting to fly from here. Uh, that they're introducing their new base here in Luton, uh, which is awesome. Um, but more that won't be happening until the new year though. Um, but on the A, which was every 10 minutes I must stand, and there's every 10 minutes all day, uh, from Luton Airport Park, from Luton Airport to Luton, along to Dumpsterball. Uh, it runs every 10 minutes, Monday to Friday, um, with buses also overnight between Luton and Luton Airport, to obviously help for the airport. Uh, but to get around the airport is quite easy, obviously you've got the dart uh, to the airport park by station where you can obviously templing. Uh, main services um, for the car park services are mainly run by inner car parking but um, with some 24 plate biodiesel Sataruses. But they've also got National Express Airport as well, they do a bit of work as well. Um, but um, the routes themselves are really easy, straightforward stuff. But there's one to the long stay, there's one to the mid stay, and there's one to the car half and the car, staff car park. Um, there's also the air parks route, which runs, uh, it's a separate route, but it's uh, run by air parks, and that runs to the air parks car park, which is up in Slip End, which is just around the corner, a couple of minutes drive. Um, but that's like the business people. Uh, but the A is the main public route. You've also got the 757 Green Line service, as well as the 100 service to Stevenage as well. But overall, it's all straightforward stuff. Uh, this bit of the route I am guided is beyond, uh, it's beyond Luton Air, uh, Luton Station. Guided, they use this part called the busway, but it's not guided, it's a just a um, bus lane of some sort, a dedicated bus lane to go through like a bus gate system. It's not a la ballard, not like on the number one route in Aylesbury. But yeah, uh, I mean, the route itself is easy peasy. Obviously, on the A, it's pulses and informants all the time. Um, and I've checked the next one after me was actually another Pulsar, so I think we've got quite a few Pulsars on the route today. Great. But that's okay, because they've got less seating. And I'm only on it for like 10 minutes. There is also the ALX, which is on my stagecoach, but I wasn't going to get that, because I don't know if my bus pass is valid on the route. And I don't want to pay two quid for a single. So. So we're just on the way now to Luton and I'll see you when I get off. Thank you. Back at Luton. Ugh, just missed the F1 though, but it was the pop saw that I said about video 876, but I wasn't gonna get that one, I was gonna get the later one at quarter past twelve, so I've got about an hour here now to kill and so I'm just gonna go to the mall, the shopping centre, to look on the mall for some reason. Yeah. American Zoom. <laughs> American Zoom, uh, happens here in Luton. Uh, and we'll catch the next one in about an hour's time. So, back at Luton Interchange now. So, uh, I haven't got a lot of time left, unfortunately. Um, but seriously, a hey, train to airport from Luton in about 10 minutes, it's ridiculous. 
Literally, if you're going to train just one stop, the airport pathway uh, with GTR. Hello. Uh, and you get um, up and you, either you can get a through ticket, but I didn't do that. And you can get off, you can get off an airport parkway, get a new ticket, and then uh, you get on the dart, which is so quick, and it's also every few minutes. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I mean, what more could you ask for? Now, I'm just going to go into the mall. There used to be a travel shop there, but they moved it to the one end of, at the interchange, and that's not really useful for me now. Uh, as well as that, I could do go to the toilet. As well, and the one in Starbucks just cut the toilet, so I don't want to do that. But yeah, but I'm going to do this for a while now. Uh, it looks like they might actually rename themselves to Luton Point now. Hmm. Bear in mind, it has been a while since I've been to Luton, so. Um, but we've got an hour to kill for my next bus. Or shall I say coach, because I've not been. A bus, I'm getting a coach. I'm catching the um I'm catching a coach, the X1 coach. Back to Milton Keynes. So I'm gonna take that to the point in Milton Keynes. Uh so I can get the 100 home. I should be home by three o'clock. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later. Okay, just been to the mall. I've done this today. I've already done the meal bit. Oh, I think it's a new my pan meal bit thingy that I've got at the moment. I thought I'd this. I have a cheese. If it's a cheeseburger or mayo chicken, I'd like mayo chicken. Chips or all of them. Kind of Drink. And chicken up with a dip. For five pounds. Now I must add that I did put an extra one pound in there. On the ground. So Donating one pound to children in need. Then doing that again. Because obviously I'm doing my bit. All the time and I did also do an extra bit with my Donald's rewards. But I've got a half an hour before the bus. So I'm just gonna go. Might go to Auntie Anne's. I'm gonna see you I'll see you when I get back to the interchange. Okay, that's the end of my day here in Luton. We're going to go back to Milton Keynes now, so you might be thinking, ah, okay, Lee, time to get the F70. No. I'm not even getting National Express. I'm getting the new X1. Now, the X1, if you're not in the know, is this new uh, coach service. It's one by Riva. And it runs from... And it runs from Luton to Milton Keynes. As I said, it's a coach. It's a Tesla Safari coach. AC12. And um, I've got 7101 AAU of the 69 plates. And uh, there's three of these uh, 100, 01, and 05. Uh, as I record this, 05 is currently off the road. Um, but the other two are out. I've got 7101. And that's going to uh, Milton Keynes. Uh, the route's based at Milton Keynes Depot and it uses three coaches but today there's a pulse on it as well uh, but my coach is just coming around now it doesn't go for another 10 minutes but another half, 15 minutes or so but we've got a bit of time to kill before that comes in but I'll see you but now I get on the X1 so the bus is here somebody want a one uh, 169 AAU now I've just gone a bit nuts because it turns out the driver I've got is an XL Elbridge driver, Jay Z. Now, I'm just about to get another one in M. Middle Dean said, What am I talking about? So I've got two. Thanks to me? No, there's. Well, one's still there. Um, the other. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to tell me about the Middle Dean. Of course, I need to. I was going to get the MK1, but there was one in front of me. but... It was packed. Sergio's MK1's are always packed. This is going to be nice and quiet because no one uses it. It's a brand new service. It only started this year. Um, but the service itself, I've got a total for it. I haven't got it now with me. Uh, but the route itself runs hourly, Monday to Saturday, with no Sunday service at the moment. 
and it runs from Milton Keynes to Salem and Kay and then up Topcliff and then up to Luton uh, via Dumpsterport as well. Uh, the service is hourly and it uses three buses uh, but today um, there's two coaches which is normal there's two coaches and a pole star for the A76. Now that was the previous one. I'm catching somebody while one on the 12.15 run back to Milton Keynes. Now I'm going to, normally this terminates at the railway station but I'm going only as far as the point because I have to get to uh, a, a, a 100 at 2 o'clock so I have about, 10, about an hour just under half an hour just over half an hour in Milton Keynes um, however I've got an extra I mean for Aylesbury driver, which is blimmin' damn useful. <laughs> so yeah, uh, even though I'm going completely the wrong way for Aylesbury, um, of course I'm gonna not uh, miss out a chance to get the X1. Because the MK1 takes just about the same, t um, much faster because it goes straight down the M1. We don't, we go down the, come on, what road we go down, possibly. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna wait for my driver, Tracy. Uh, who, as I said, it's an ex Arriva Aylesbury driver. He will, uh, and if you do a Gemini, you can. Um, it's 716 with Grandpa, but just living on the high room. Um, which must have been Grandpa, but nice. I'm just gonna wait for the X1, which is due in about 10 minutes or so. Yeah, 10 minutes. So I'll see you. Yeah. So I was just waiting an hour. Now, you probably have noticed I'm wearing a blue shirt. Now, uh, I must apologize for the mistake. Um, because it's an extra Reva Aylesbury driver, I thought I'll put my Reva uniform on because, as you know, I've got my red clothes on and I've got my my shirt and tie and my my polo. But I've also got the Reva one. I just take my zip off, quickly, as you can see. Uh, there's my Reva lanyard. It's on the outside, just there, as you can see. Um, I've got a Reva uniform. So, Jay-Z, the driver, is none the wiser. Because I've been ill for this. I'm in a, I'm in a funny mood. But yeah, he's just coming over to the coach now. We're due out in about five minutes or so. Um, yeah. So we're going to take this all the way to Milton Keynes. Uh, to the point. We're not going to go all the way to the railway station. The coach terminates at the railway station, but I haven't got time. We get there at half one, and I'm due to catch the bus from the railway from the point at uh, at two o'clock. So, so yeah. Anyway, the LLX has just turned up, which is if you don't know the LAX, it's a direct service from Luton to Luton Airport, run by Stagecoach. Bedford Depot. Uh, the bus stays on it all day. It's a half hourly service back and forth. Uh, it is one MNC today, which is one of the local branded ones today. And by the looks of things, it might actually be one of the 73 plates as well that uh, Bedford Depot have. No, it's a 69 plate. <laughs> uh, SN69 ZPF, which is 11279 today. That's the uh, I uh, don't think that route's making any money though at the moment. But I'm just going to wait for the bus to turn up. Oh, coach, I might say. Um, I could have got National Express though, because there isn't. I did just see a National Express on the 2.30 bus coach to Derby, but I thought, well, since it's Jay Z, and I wanted to do it for a while, I'm going to get the X1 coach. It means I don't have to do it again. Well, I might do it one day. Uh, yeah, but the coach is due in about five minutes, and I'll see you when JD and somebody one on one turn up. So my coach is just going around the corner now. This will be the 12:15 arrival, which is based on Milton Keynes from the X1 to Milton Keynes. It's been fired by MK Depot, and one of the drivers that I know too well kept uh, JD was driving it. YJ69. AU, which is 7101, one of the test of the Huawei HC12s that Milton Keynes have. Coming rather slowly though. Wow. 
It's my X1. My J69 AAU. Somebody want to want? Jay Z. Not really. One of the old Reaver Alpha drivers. Yeah. 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 Uh, exactly, about just over one hour later, it goes an M5, OFL, one of the Leighton buses actually, uh, not sure why, but that's somebody want to want, YJ69 AAU, that is awesome, the X1s, um, they're quick and they're frequent, they're hourly at the moment, but Jay-Z is one of the ex Ellsbury drivers, he used to work at Ellsbury Depot, so I knew him for many years but now I'm a bit concerned because there's an enviro, a red rose enviro, pops up on the bay and it's just the one I'm just on. So I'm a bit concerned and by the looks of things I think I could be uh, E16 but yeah I've got, a, I've got about an 40 minutes here before league off is due on the 100 because that's the start. 21, I know it is, but I'll see you when she arrives. Okay, just going through the shop of in Milton Keynes. So I'm just going to end it here in Milton Keynes. This, of course, you've seen me get around in here so many times. So there's no point in me doing that. Um, so yeah. However, I have another bus to catch in Ellsbury. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, so we're doing going to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end it here. But the X1 coach is brilliant. Sorry I couldn't record anything because there was music. Jay-Z was banging the tunes out. And of course, I don't want to get copyrighted. So I'm going to end it here because I'm just going to see X quickly. Uh, so I'll get that one. Get it copyrighted. Um, but one thing I want to show you is the on top of the bus. So we got the on the lift, which is the new autonomous bus that's coming to be Keynes. Um, it's powered by uh, multiple companies. Um, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I tried the autonomous pod thingy, and again, it's just like a little pod. Um, it will be starting around soon, and we've got one of them here in the smart mode shop, uh, Kex 24 DYH. Looks interesting. I must admit, pink myself. This really sucks out. Um, but they've got little mods, uh, little robots and stuff in the smart city today. Uh, which is the uh, experience centre in Monkey. So I'm going to end here. So I'll just go see you next. But yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, stay tuned for the uh, latest for next week for the Blackpool trip and the London trip. But for me here in Milton Keynes, have a, have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.